Jasmine. Oh, she Hello, we are here with Watch Party Cuisine with with Chef Will Turner. Sorry about that, catching my breath. It has been a nonstop morning of incredible business summits. And we're here with Chef Will Turner. Chef, Chef, how are you doing today? I am doing wonderful. And what are you going to be cooking for us today on live? Okay, so we got quite a few recipes to go. We're going to start with this uh, Banana Fosters. And again, this is my play on Banana Fosters. It's kind of like a little mix between this and a New Orleans bourbon peaches, which is also one of my dessert favorites. Super simple recipes. After that, we're going to go into my uh, brie and crab dip that I add boards and cheese to and uh, my filet bites. And then we're gonna do my black bean dip and bruschetta. And my bruschetta I make with palmetto cheese, which is a throwback to my home state, South Carolina. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, we got South Carolina in the house. We <laughs> have Phoebe Arizona in the house. Who else is joining? Please feel free to comment. We've got people engaged in the comments to make sure that you have an interactive experience. And get your notebook ready because you're not going to want to miss these free recipes that Chef Will Turner is revealing for us today. And yeah, these are a lot of my, my favorites, my party favorites. So people who book my parties and who, who I've cooked for, they're like, oh, I've had that. So um, again, they can find me at ChefWilliamTurner.com. And these uh, recipes are actually online at uh, PA, uh, Phoenix Fashion Week. Yep, in the bio link, check out the free recipes. And let's take a look. We've got some butter melted in a pan right. here. So what we're doing is we, we melted our butter. This is non-salted butter. We're adding some bananas. Again, this is a fast recipe. We don't wait, we don't waste any time. A little brown sugar. You can substitute any type of sugar you have around the house. And that's one thing I like to stress when I'm cooking is make this dish your own. Do what you have, use what you have. If you have white sugar, if you have sugar in the raw or even like agave syrup, you can substitute for your sweetness and uh, just make it your own. I'm adding uh, nutmeg and cinnamon. If you wanted to do the pumpkin spice, if you want to add some some berries in, however you want to do this, feel free to do it. This is just a guideline. So it looks like you added the bananas after the butter had melted, right. after it was already hot. I'll tell you another trick. Make sure you use green bananas. If you use ripe bananas, it's gonna to turn to mush before you get a chance. Note to self, take note. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use your mushy bananas. They no will mushy fall, bananas. They'll fall apart in that pan. So um, ice cream will be next. We're getting close. Okay. So now we're going to add one more. This is the cinnamon going in. I like to wait a little bit on that. Here we go. This is the fun part. Since we're inside, we're going to go light with the with the alcohol. Woo! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> there we go. It'll cook down. Now we're going to add. Okay, How beautiful in is that, guys? So this is going to come together real nice. Again, we're going to pour this right across the middle of bean ice cream. So the bananas look like they're caramelizing. Coming in, boom. Getting some nice sugar on the outside. I've we've got, got a bowl some. for us. I'm just sneaking away real quick, guys. Again, we're doing this live, so this is how we roll. <laughs> just go with it. Just keep going with it. So we've got some vanilla bean ice cream. Yep. Vanilla bean ice cream. Store bought. No need to make it at home. No, you can. And if you want to make it at home, by all means, do it. Do you? So I'm just gonna go right into there, just like this. Look at that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That smells so good. It smells like the holidays. What that cinnamon and so, nutmeg. And I wanted to talk a little bit about how I cut these bananas. You can cut them long ways. You can cut them um, just regular, or you can go uh, uh, oblique. You can do really whatever you want. And then what I want to do, let's go one more scoop of ice cream right on top there. Just like that. Ooh, that smells delicious. Well, thank you. So yeah, that's what this is. Again, this is my take. People go absolutely crazy over this dish. And uh, it's very good, so. Awesome. Yeah. So dessert first, that's how we should start everything, <laughs> right? <laughs> so I started dessert because I had ice cream and it was gonna melt, so. And again, no rules. The only rules I have is uh, don't cut yourself. So. All right, what do we have got next here? We're moving into the uh, crab and brie dip. This is another super simple dish. What I like to do is, um, okay, so I start with, uh, this is uh, lump crab meat. Okay. This is off of a blue crab. It's a very popular back in South Carolina. Again, I have uh, strained most of the juice out of this. That's going to be super important. 
And what are you pouring into? That's a uh, heavy cream. So the heavy cream's heated, heated up. And we're uh, gonna pretend that it's super hot right now. Okay. Again, you might wanna give this an extra two or three minutes if you're doing this at home, folks. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hand it a brie. And a knife, please. Mm. All right, so heavy cream. So, yeah, heavy cream. We're gonna mix this in. We're gonna let it heat up real good. Oh, thank you. And then what I like to do is I like to take the rind off the side. So I'm not gonna be very, uh, I try to you know, waste less with this. And then this is, there's nothing wrong with this cheese. I totally rock with it, but. Yeah, add um, that to you charcuterie board. Definitely, you know, it, it could definitely uh, be used here in a few minutes because, you know, I'm gonna finish this segment with a charcuterie 101 lesson, so. Um, and brie has to go on the charcuterie board, in my opinion. Yeah, you're going to tell us our must-haves on a charcuterie, the ones that we just cannot skip. So, yeah, and um, this is how we're going to do this. We're going to add in some of this brie. I'll tell you, this is a delicious dish. It's super rich, packed with flavor. You could, you know, a lot of times, like, oh, you can make this thinner, and then you can pour it across nachos. So, so how would you thin it? With some water? Or add a little... You, you would add, uh, add increase your uh, your cream. Okay. You really wouldn't want to add uh, milk or um, water, no water or anything like that to it, but you just add more cream, less cheese. Those are two ways. So see how we got this coming together here. Yeah. That's so so note to self: do not add water. I would have added water to thin it. <laughs> no, don't add water. <laughs> you can add water to some things. It's not this. It's not, not to this. We still need it to be creamy. So guys, I know everybody loves boysine cheese. So we're going to add the boards in there. This is another popular. I don't know if I've ever heard of that cheese. Tell me more about it. It's a gourmet cheese, and uh, it's super popular. You can find it in most of your markets. Um, they do a couple of different styles. You can make this at home pretty easy. It's a, it's a quick cheese. It's not like an aged cheese. So, oh, wow. So we just do it like this. We're going to let this come together. I always put too much in my pots. <laughs> me that's too. A, that's a southern quality. So we're at this point. I want to add... a. Um, a little bit of flavor to the dish. So people know that I spent um, well over a year down in New Orleans cooking. And uh, and the, you're a private chef as well. So you've got clients that you go to their homes and, and yeah. make your own meals for So them. that's what I do is I come to your home and I cook for you. Uh, in your home I clean. I do, uh, I go anywhere. Wherever they need me, that's where I go. Yeah. So I'm self-contained if we needed to go out uh, remote. Like obviously I have these burners and things like that, or I come to your home and uh, I just make any special day a little more special. So how did you get started? Like how do you actually make it into an actual business where people come and hire you? Well, it started with, um, it started with, a, with an idea that I couldn't shake. You know how you get that idea and yep. you just can't get rid of it? And I think a lot of entrepreneurs and uh, creative people understand that. And once that idea got in, I just started thinking, what do I have to do to achieve this goal? And uh, honestly, my life had prepared me for that because I had all the experience of being an executive chef in restaurants. I had had experience at different places like the Bordeo in South Carolina where I was a private chef, but I worked under the, the corporate umbrella. So I was going out and cooking in people's homes. Um, so that was my first taste. I kind of combined all that knowledge. I did major in marketing. So, um, Perfect. <laughs> that helps. That helps the a lot. The love child of being executive chef and majoring in marketing. I had a chef, and he told. I said, "I'm going to culinary school," and he said, "You need to major in business." So I went. And I majored in marketing, and nice. it, it paid off. Uh, 100%. Smart man. Smart man. Yeah, he's like, uh, "Don't waste your money." So this um, is pretty much done here. So what we'll do is we'll. Again, if we were cooking this at home, I would let this sit on the stove a little longer. Or again, I might would even come in. Come in and just add some cheese right onto the top, mm. like that. You can't go with uh, there's no such thing as too much cheese. Mm -hmm. And I then agree. I would uh, I would throw it into the broiler. Really? Yeah, or the oven, however you want to do it, and I'd bake it and okay. let it let it get a nice brown crisp on the top. Yeah, crispy crunch okay. on top. And do you eat it? Do you uh, suggest putting it over pasta? Do we eat you it can, by itself? Now you could totally put it over pasta. You could also. Um, you can put it over pasta. You can serve it here with these uh, pita points. I would toast these pita points off 
The only thing is if you toast them ahead of time, they're going to get hard on you. Uh, so you can totally do like that. Okay. And um, That's should, um, brilliant. I feel like it's my obligation to eat some of this. Well. So I'm going to take a dip. Last thing I'm going to do, this is jumbo lump crab here, guys. So this is the, the premium. And we'll just throw it right here on the top like that. That's just to finish the garnish. And mm. I got you a little plate right. Actually, I got you a plate right here. I'm going to kind of serve you up, but that's okay. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I figured you would like that. Southern, what is it called? Southern charm? A little southern charm, a little southern <laughs> hospitality. Southern hospitality. Oh, yeah. If you guys so, can hear us, um, give us a thumbs up. We don't have mics on, so it looks like we're... We're, Try that, Manier. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Okay, so what is the official name of this recipe? Uh, Boars and Brie Crab Dip. Boars and Brie Crab Dip, okay? So made right before your eyes, taking my mask off, social distancing, and I'm going to take the most illustrious bite of this. Mmm. That's incredible. Wow. The, the is that rich, good? Yes, the crab is delicious. Can. Flavorful sauce, very creamy. Make sure you're taking notes at home so you can wow your watch party guests with Chef Will Turner's masterpieces. All so right. we got, we still, we're not even halfway there, folks. Okay. So now we're going to come in with the, um, with my filet bites. This is another one that is just super popular with everybody. I'm actually going to trade this, trade this out. Let me get some gloves, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you guys are just tuning in, we are live with Watch Party Cuisine with Chef Will Turner, private chef. He's whipping up some incredible cuisine, preparing you for your watch party event for the Style Trend Show. Stay tuned in the afternoon for more afternoon summits, where we'll be bringing you multiple speakers speaking on various topics about fashion, about modeling. And right now, we've got Chef melting <laughs> another block of delicious butter. More butter. Now, again, you could use um, avocado oil. You could use oh. olive oil. That's not really important. Okay. And in my recipe, butter. I think I do call for the olive oil. This happens to be close, and we have so many recipes to get to. I didn't want to waste time. That's um, good. If any kind of thing like this works, because what you want to do is you're going to basically going to saute filet bites. So would the flavor change a bit if we chose to do olive oil? It will change a little bit, but it's not going to be a, a make or break type situation. Good to know. So now what I'm doing here is I'm coming in with the filet. You could totally let this get a little hotter. Um, not necessary right now for what I'm doing. And uh, And being from the south, I even brought a little bit of bacon grease. Ooh, bless your heart. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bring the bacon grease. You know what, that's what I do. Now this is a little uh, Montreal seasoning, very popular. Uh, it's a steakhouse blend. Uh, really yeah, going in with that. easy to find on the shelves. Very Pre easy to find. I do have one um, item that is a little obscure, but again, can we hang it a rosemary, please? Okay. Oh, okay. What's this obscure item? The obscure item is my a bill demi base. What's so that? it's a bill it's bill stock reduction. So if you know like um like how you have beef broth or chicken broth, yes. it's like bill broth, but it's in the reduction base. Yes. Okay. So concentrated. Right. So what I'm gonna do here too is I'm gonna add a little question. bit of rosemary in here, guys. We have a question about vegan options and how some of these things can be made vegan friendly. So now the black bean dip is vegan. So that when I get to that point, that's going to be vegan. And with the um, with the banana fosters, you could totally do that across uh, uh, dairy-free ice cream, like an almond or a cashew ice cream. And then you could have removed the butter and cook it in uh, avocado oil, and then it would be vegan. So totally, you can make those vegan. Obviously, you can't make steak bites vegan, but uh, now they do have vegan butter spreads made from vegetable oil. Yep. Is that that would be uh, completely all right? Okay. Yeah, like. The, um, most of my dishes, and I do uh, offer a lot of vegan uh, options because it's super important right now. I myself kind of cut a lot of my red meat out. I eat a little bit, but I cut my red meat out, and I'm pretty much like a pescatarian at this point. Okay. You know, and uh, we got to 
definitely everything in moderation. I wouldn't, um, you know, I wouldn't uh, suggest eating my type of cuisine seven days a week. You know what I mean? Like, this is a, uh, I'm in the pleasure business, so <laughs> I'm, I'm bringing pleasure to your house. It's not something you probably should do every day. It's uh, anniversaries, bachelorette parties. Style trend shows. Style trend shows. <laughs> or, yeah. So would you be able to put in a meat substitute in this same recipe here? You could. Okay. Yeah, you could, totally could. Maybe um, some tempeh or, you, I don't know about tofu. Tofu you could do, you'd go a different route. You know, if I was to substitute one of those, I'd probably take it a different route because the whole point of this dish is the, the veal base. Okay. And um, Bacon grease. Right, and the bacon grease. So I would probably go a different route and then do more like a a pesto or something like that. I was going to more of that kind of a, you know, go Mediterranean with it. That's what I would do. Great. Um, I love Mediterranean style. I love olives, anything Greek, that yeah. whole, that whole, um, so next, because I'll get to talking and I'll forget what time this would be. Best ingredient? A little bit of wine. Again, wine. don't use cooking wine. Use real wine. Um, it doesn't have to be anything super expensive. Um, but it needs to be drinkable. And I saw you have some fresh rosemary in here too. Yes, we did um, add a little bit of rosemary. Fresh rosemary is so much more fragrant than the dried rosemary, but could you just use dried? You could use dried, and you could add herbs. Again, we, we make it our own, so you could add a little um, thyme into this. You could use oregano. You could do parsley. You could uh, omit it completely if you you know if you didn't have it. Yeah. Use what you have. I'm using fillet here. This was fillet cut down, but you could totally use a uh, sirloin. Uh, you know, you can go a bunch of different routes with this. My recipes are like a template. They're not something that you should really um, feel like you need to stick to. And that's when, when you really learn how to cook, and you really um, you can kind of make it your own. So have a little faith and have a little courage and try it. And if it doesn't turn out right, throw it in the trash and don't let anybody have it. Have a little faith in <laughs> Will, right? Yeah. <laughs> A little bit of faith. All right. So I did add the demi base, and you can see how it's coming together so nice right here. So how do you know when the alcohol has been reduced and you can feed it to children? It, um, you're going to want to watch it reduce down. Typically, I would light this, but I don't want to light it again. Why not? Um, and when it burns out, just because of where we're, the environment we're in, and that last time kind of scared me a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so. It woke me up for sure. <laughs> we're awake. And, uh. Yeah, this is it, guys. Cool. We're going to add a little more. So and make sure you comment what your favorite recipe has been thus far. We are having a contest for the best comment about what you guys have enjoyed for this to win a Phoenix Fashion Week, the collection, shirt of your choice. So make sure that you comment, engage with us. Give us a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing. Give us a thumbs down if you don't like what you're seeing. We want engagement. That is beautiful, right? It is delicious. It smells delicious. We're going to have to get somebody to try this. It is hot right now. Okay. So we're going to let that cool down a little bit. We're going to bring in our cameraman, Manny. You're going to take a bite of this steak because you are the steak master. All right. So do we have a fork here? Oh! I am a mountain man. Here we go. <laughs> I love it. Here we go. Let's see. All right. Go for it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Talk to me, Manny. Yep. Is there a doctor in the house? Mm. Is there a doctor in the house? That's so good. Is it delicious? Is it delicious? This All looks right, delicious. It's it smells so fragrant. It looks Any, tender. Um, if you are in the audience, video, make sure that you catch the display if you miss some of the vegan replacement options that you can create for your friends, for your family, or for your Mental. watch party tonight. What's next, Will? We're coming in with the palmetto cheese next. All right. So we're going to have to speed these recipes up a little How bit. How many more do we have? We have two more and a charcuterie board. We, we might it. have to uh, give y'all a quick version. Go ahead and get the uh, the next one up de on deck. All right. We got to get it on deck. So with this, I'm going to give y'all a quick version again. Okay. We're starting this as a South Carolina thing. So, of course, it has mayonnaise in it. <laughs> and there is vegan mayonnaise in the store. Yes, there totally is. Veginase. Is that how you say it? I don't I thought know. it was vegan aids. <laughs> vegan aids, vegan aids, tomato, tomato. <laughs> in South Carolina, we don't, we don't ever say it. Are there vegans in South Carolina? There are. Yeah, it's uh, 
you know, so I've gone to one of those states since they collect it in a way that it depends on what part of the state you're in. Okay. Things change. All right. So we're going in here. We're going to get this mixed up real good. This is cream cheese and mayonnaise uh, that I'm adding here, guys. Too. Cream cheese, mayonnaise. We're going in with the cheddar. Now this, Ooh, this is another one that, uh, it's in the pleasure business as well. All right. So you mix it before it m melts. Yeah, yeah, well we mix it. We don't cold ingredients. Yeah, we don't um, yeah, we don't cook this okay. this one. Um So we had to move fast. I didn't have time to get my proper setup on this one. That's all right. Um, we all in, right? We're all in this. And here we go. I'm going to need a few of those tomatoes. So are these some sun-dried tomatoes and oils? This is uh, roasted red peppers. Roasted red peppers. So we're going to mm -hmm. add this in, guys. And again, we'll cook in a little. Cooking out of this. this is not how we normally do it. We have. We've got some fresh bowl. tomatoes here. OK. That's it. Here we go. Here we go. I feel better now. Here we go. Bigger bowl. I feel better, guys. I feel like it's always better to have more than less, right? Even more than less is a definite. I'd rather be looking at it than looking for it. <laughs> That's my whole little saying. So we're going to do this. We hang those tomatoes that are sliced over there. And I'm going to bring in this now. Okay. Is this French roll? Yes. This is a baguette. Baguette. We're just going to put this right on top like that, guys. Two. All right, so we've got roasted red pepper, cream cheese, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, and then a little bit of my Cajun seasoning and some roasted red peppers. Awesome. And I got my tomato slices. Boom. Boom. Ooh, some sriracha. Here we go. Uh, oh. Hold on, Phoenix. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to be in the game. Tell okay. us where you're joining from. If you guys are from uh, the East Coast, if you guys are from... A different country let us know check in we'd love to know where our community is tuning in from we're just going to drip this on like this and last but not least a so i'm kind of here. glad that my mask is on because you can't see the drool <laughs> out of my mouth a little bit of bacon right here and then guys that's that's really how we do it i mean so I really so like this crisp bacon right there. We had to do a, yeah, it's super crispy. That's the key. Yeah. Cook your bacon uh, on lo on a lower temp for longer to get it crispy. Now we're going to go into the charcuterie board. Talk about that real quick. Okay. We'll mix it up. Get some of the stuff out of the way. And I have made a mess. <laughs> That's the only way to do it. And oh there goes the charcuterie gosh. board right there, guys. Again, one thing I wanted to talk about with this, you're covering a lot of bases. You're giving people uh, a ton of options. So you might want, you might be like, oh, I like the cheese, and you might be want, you want, you know, some uh, pastrami, salami, some prosciutto. The borzen is making a, another appearance here on the charcuterie board. I want to talk about nuts and things like that. I see a lot of people they um, they put their nuts on the board and they scatter it around. You know, like here, here, and here. Mm -hmm. Well, if you have an allergy. Mm -hmm then we're gonna have issues there, right? So what I like to do is I like to take a dish like this, do a few nuts off to the side, That's you know smart. what I mean? And then I'll, I'll place it somewhere where I can just fit it in. Yeah, and it doesn't touch any of the other Right, food. now they can eat it, and now your uh, your guest isn't having to cancel the whole board yeah. because of a little bit of nuts. So just think about you guys like that and people um, eating. Don't spread, sure. <laughs> Don't spread your nuts. Don't spread your nuts. And um, yeah, that's it. So. This is the board. Now we're going to go into my black bean dip. Ooh, that looks delicious. Let us know if you guys are making a charcuterie board. Um, I have this tradition, and me and my fiance, that every Sunday is charcuterie board Sunday. Some Sundays we miss it. But um, we like to choose a local restaurant and sample their charcuterie board to find out what goodies they bring to their, their uh, customers. I'm going to need this. And guys, all right, so the black bean dip, we're going quick with it one more time. All right. We got the onions going in. Again, these, onions. 
These recipes are online. You can find them. You can uh, make them your own. These are rinsed. These are vegan, uh, vegetarian black beans. So that's for my vegans out there. I don't forget about y'all, I promise. Um, now we're gonna add our tomatoes. Give that a nice, there we go. Awesome. We're just gonna mix this up like this. Okay. All right. We want uh, a couple more of those limes, please. Mm -hmm. Let us know what you guys plan on making tonight. For Gotta have some cilantro in there. Oh, fresh cilantro. Sometimes uh, my daughter thinks cilantro tastes like soap. I think that's some weird thing that so, you DNA folks have. So one out of nine people believe cilantro tastes like soap. One out of nine. One out of nine. One out of nine of y'all DNA tells you that cilantro, which is the most beautiful herb in the world. We have a little bit of hot sauce to this one. Tastes like soap. All right, we got some hot sauce. Was that some salt and pepper? Oh, I'm dropping it all in. Yeah, a little salt, a little pepper. And we're going to add lime juice as a must. And then I have some... Um... I have some more roasted red peppers going in here. Awesome. We're going to give this a nice little stir. Take this. I'm going to make, spill this. So what better reason to break out all of these fun, you know, dishes than for your watch party. Now we're just gonna go right into this bowl with this. And on my recipe, I call for it to be uh, blended. You can blend it if you want to, or you can go just like this. It's Ooh. really your choice, guys. Okay. You could add jalapenos to this. You could, uh, you could go a little hotter. Let's add a little tahini to the top. So you would just pop all of this in a blender? Yeah, I would okay. put all of this into a food processor. Okay. Into a ninja, something like that. Yeah. And then, um, Take a look at this. So we're gonna Delicious. finish it like this. And then there we go. I like to put a, a chip in the top. It's kind of my style. But guys, again, this has been fun. It's, it's simple. Cooking doesn't have to be that hard. We just knocked out, what, six, five or six recipes in 30 minutes. We made a mess. But, you know, it's all about having fun and enjoying yourself. So, cheers Awesome. Monday. Cheers to that. <laughs> Chef Will Turner, thank you so much for bringing us this incredible insight on cuisine. It should be fun. Feel free to plug in different ingredients in Chef Will Turner's recipes. You can download those from IG at PHX Fashion Week in the link to the bio. So make sure that you guys are prepared for this evening. Any last thoughts, Will? Thank you so much for being here. Uh, follow me on Instagram, at Chef Will Turner, and my website is ChefWillTurner.com. Thank you all so much. It's been a pleasure. It's been awesome. Thanks, man.